Hi, my name is Rosemary Wesson. I'm a program director at the National Science Foundation, and I'm also on the board of directors of AICHE. And today we're going to be talking about the WISE program, Washington Internships for Students of Engineering. We have three engineers here that we're going to be talking with. The first one is Nicholas Casanto from Oregon State University. We also have Andrew Carruthers from North Carolina State University and Christina DeLago from Stevens Institute of Technology. Welcome, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Rose. Thanks. So, first of all, tell us about your experience in, in WISE, the Washington Internships for Students of Engineering program. Nick. Um, I, I really like the experience. I think the ability for engineers to affect the policy process is really cool, and our, our experience there, we got to learn how engineers and scientists do it and really what aspects of policy there are. So many like different variables you know, right. that we can affect. Right. And so what did you work on, Andrew? What was your research? My research was studying the um, exportation of natural gas. Uh, there's been some controversy recently whether the U.S. should allow um, our new shale gas revolution to be, uh, to be exported to other countries or whether we should keep it domestically. So I was studying the uh, economic and environmental implications of exporting natural gas. Mm -hmm. And your project, Christine? Um, well, my personal research at Stevens uh, is doing water purification resources uh, to be implemented in third world countries. So this summer, uh, through the WISE program, I uh, studied the United Nations Millennium Development Goal 7.C, which is related to water and sanitation in underdeveloped, underdeveloped nations, um, and seeing how America has sculpted their public policy reforms uh, to help meet that goal and also to help fund that goal. So, how did you find out about the WISE program? How did you know to apply? I, the WISE program was actually exactly the type of internship I was looking for over the summer. So I spent a lot of time just doing research, uh, looking at different Princeton reviews, uh, reviews of different internship programs, mm -hmm. and that's mm -hmm. how I stumbled across the WISE program. And I was really, really excited when I found out about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Andrew? I think sometime in my uh, freshman year, my advisor sent out an email about this. Because she's actually an, an alumni of the program. So she sent out an email talking about the program. And I, was, I read it, and I was like, this is exactly what I want to do. So I was, I was really excited. And um, the first few uh, years of schooling, I'm now a senior. So the first few years, I didn't uh, participate. But in my senior year, I was like, yes, I really want to participate. And I got this uh, excellent opportunity to do so. So you're a senior now? I am, yes. So you participated in the program between your junior and senior year, correct? Um, I'm actually a super senior now. I'm double majoring <laughs> in economics, so I'm doing another semester of coursework after, after this. And it's, it was nice to get the public policy experience. You know, in my economics classes, we'll be talking about um, government, and I'll be able to provide a really unique uh, mm -hmm. outlook that mm -hmm. a lot of the other mm -hmm. people uh, don't have. And Nick, how did you find out? Um, our school sends out internship emails, and um, I had kind of knew after studying abroad in Taiwan for a year that I didn't really want to pursue hard a, a hard engineering internship. And so the policy sector where I'm really able to implement technology policy seemed like a good fit. Mm -hmm. And so, mm -hmm. okay. And what year are you? I'm a super senior as well. <laughs> and Christine? I'm just a plain old senior. <laughs> <laughs> this is my fourth year. Uh, I'm a chemical engineering major, and I'm just minoring in public policy, so not too many extra classes. <laughs> so, so how did you get interested in chemical engineering, Nick? You say you don't, you didn't want a hardcore, yeah. but how did you get interested in chemical engineering? So, I really like chemistry, and I thought that by studying chemical engineering, it, we were doing things that was applied chemistry, so that we could maybe save the world. You know. Right. Um, I think most of us here are millennials, so <laughs> mm -hmm. we kind of have that aspect going into things. And after doing research, technical research at the university for a while, right. I kind of decided, well, I think there are other ways that we can use our talents. And what do you, do you have any idea what you want to do after you graduate? Um, I, recent, senior year? <laughs> I recently just applied for a Fulbright in Southeast Asia and Singapore, and I want to do Southeast Asian water policy, which is just kind of a branch off of what I did over the summer. Great, great. Now, Andrew, you said something about your your undergraduate education now. So, 
Are you or have you been exposed to policy courses or ethics courses in your undergraduate? Yeah, experience? definitely, definitely. I've had um, public policy, um, like political economy classes, where they talk about how policy and uh, the economics interact. And then through my chemical engineering courses, we've talked a lot about professional ethics. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've written papers about um, ethical um, topics and, and how, how we as chemical engineers have a responsibility to not only our companies and our, our personal um, friends, but we also have a responsibility to society to, to uphold, um, um, make, make ethical decisions. Right. So, so right. That, that's right. definitely a strong part of our curriculum. Great. That's great. So tell me, Christina, about your experience over the summer. So the WISE program, you were three of many, is that correct? Yes. Um, in total, there were 13 interns. Uh, there were interns from the American Society of Mechanical Engineers, IEEE, uh, the Nuclear Society, uh, and a few more, I believe, ASHRAE and ASTM mm -hmm. um, International. So even though we each had our own individual research going on, we had a faculty member in residence who basically guided us around Washington, D.C. and introduced us uh, to a bunch of the different agencies, especially the ones that have a lot of uh, work to do with uh, STEM, science, technology engineering mathematics mm -hmm. um, and so we did have to collaborate a lot with the interns from the other uh, yes. the other uh, professional engineering societies um, and it was really great because for the meetings that we had we got to talk to all these different agencies see how engineers are making a difference and how that they work hand in hand with public policy. I um, mean, we also just got to meet some really great people. Mm -hmm. Like, I was in charge of the meeting with the State Department, um, and I got to talk to the the man in charge of all science and technology for the Department of State. So, so, so during your internship, were you um, given the opportunity to meet with Congress people or policymakers or anything like that? Yeah, I think all of us met with our congressmen and our um, senators, and it was a really great experience to, to meet those people and learn how um, we as constituents can really um, inform them about engineering issues and how, how little information there is about those issues and how much we can provide, um, mm -hmm. provide mm -hmm. advice. Yeah, WISE was a really great program because we were able to kind of have an excuse to talk to everyone <laughs> yeah. in uh, uh, D.C. So we were able to talk to the Department of Energy and I was able to schedule a couple meetings with industry to kind of get their perspective on how we can work together to solve the world's problems. Great. great. Yeah, we talked to numerous groups. We talked to people at the White House, people mm -hmm. at, you know, um, on Congress, people mm -hmm. at mm -hmm. numerous agencies. So it was a really incredible experience. And outside of your policy research, did you get a chance to experience the D.C. area? Yes, I think that was probably one of the greatest parts for me, uh, someone who's from a very suburban area, um, and I'm just so used to going to Washington, D.C. since it's very mm -hmm. close to New Jersey, but being with interns who live on the other side of the country and getting to see all the monuments and all the museums from uh, kind of like a like a first viewers right. kind of perspective right. and it was really great and it's kind of taught me that like even here at the conference in San Francisco you need to get up and get out and do things and we definitely did this summer. <laughs> <laughs> and how long were you in the DC area? Ten weeks approximately. Yeah. Yeah. And, and your travel back and forth, was that an easy adventure or were there any complications? Was it? That was easy for me. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, traveling from the West Coast, it's around four or five hours, not too bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And do you still keep in touch? So the internship was over the summer, and there were 13 other interns. Do you still keep in touch? Yes, we we had a very active Facebook page during the internship that's still definitely going. Um, and I think we've all individually kept in touch with certain interns and still share information and things. And we'll always be posting stuff yeah. about some new <laughs> new policy issue that yes. we're debating over the summer. We'll be like, oh, you know, here's this article that, that backs up what I said. So it's, it's always fun. Yeah. Well, great. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, for uh, giving us the opportunity to learn more about the WISE program. And also, thank you, guys, for the wonderful work that you did over the summer. Yeah, thank, thank you. you.